Hi, this is Dr. Casas with Daisy Pediatrics, introducing you to our teddy bear clinic today. So, what is a teddy bear clinic? This is geared for our young children, usually in our toddler ages, up through lower elementary school, to help them get used to what goes on in the doctor's appointment, so hopefully we won't be so scared and nervous, okay? So, from here on out, we're going to be talking to our little kids. So you can use this with any stuffed animal, or if you've attended one of our teddy bear clinics or got one of our free giveaways, you might already have your teddy bear clinic pack. Okay, which includes a teddy bear with our little t-shirt, a stethoscope that actually works, and a little medication syringe and a band-aid just to help us get to use these things. So, first of all, what do we do at a doctor's appointment? Well, the most common thing young healthy children do is what we call a well visit or a physical. This is where the doctor checks how well you're growing, how well you're eating and sleeping to make sure that we have the best health for when we get older. So let's see Teddy today, he's our helper, okay? So with Teddy, one of the first things you wanna do is measure him. And this is where when you come into a doctor's office, the nurse might take a good measurement to see how tall and how heavy you are since they saw you last. So let's take a look at Teddy. He's a bigger Teddy, so we'll go ahead and have him stand up. He gets to stand and we get to measure him all the way from his bottom of his feet to the top of his head, okay? When you're at the doctor, you might either have to lay down in a nice table or bed um, and have them do a measurement, or you might stand up and put your, um, your feet back against a wall that has a little measuring stick there. So, for Teddy today, if he was to lay down on one of our tables to measure, we would lay him down like this, and we would take a nice measuring tape, or like I said in other doctors, they already have something that's set up on the table. And we go from the top of his head down to the bottom of his feet. It looks like today, Teddy measures 13 and a half inches tall. Now for our bigger kiddos, we will stand up against a wall that has a little measuring tape off to the side. You would get measured from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. Again, Teddy's about that 13 and a half tall. So good job, Teddy. Now, after you get how tall we are, we sometimes will get our weight. For our little kiddos, they're going to have you lay down on a fancy table and they're going to actually weigh you on that table. For our bigger kids, you might step on a scale. For us today, we have a flat scale that kind of looks like this. So, scale will get put down and Teddy would stand right on it to see how heavy he is. Let's see, Teddy. Oh, well, because Teddy's pretty light, he's under a pound. He doesn't register too well on these scales just yet. Teddy. And then after that, he might wait for a little bit for the doctor um, or nurse to come in and ask a little bit of questions from mom and dad or parents or guardians of other types, okay? Grandparents even. So when they come in, they might ask questions like, have you been eating all your fruits and vegetables? Do you have any owies or aches or concerns? Um, are you sleeping well and making sure we're not getting too much screen time? All of those questions help us to make sure you're healthy on your physical. After that, they may have you sit down and get undressed. It is very common to get undressed in a full-fledged physical so that we can see your body from your head down to your toes and make sure everything is healthy. So for Teddy today, because his shirt's a little tight, we'll leave it on for right now. One of the first things we want to listen to is our heart. We use a special thing called a stethoscope. Now, a stethoscope helps make sounds louder so that we can hear the heart better. So, put these parts in our ears and you can do that with a stethoscope if you received it from a, our clinic. Little tap, you actually hear that it makes it a louder sound. We listen in a few different spots. So, we start off just to the left of your midline of your chest. We listen on the top. We listen on the bottom. We listen a little further to the left, and then on the top of the right side too. Good job, Teddy. Now after we listen to your heart, we're also gonna to want to take a good listen to your back for us to see how well you're breathing. So let's listen back through here. We listen in a couple of spots again. So you do big breaths. And again. Two more. And last one. 
Good job, Teddy. Oops. No. After this, we also want to make sure everything looks good in your eyes, ears, nose, and mouth. So we might use a special light. One of them with a flat head is meant to look at our eyes called an ophthalmoscope. Fancy. So let's turn on the light. You can kind of see, make some nice little light right through here. And we look really close in Teddy's eyes. Good job, Teddy. Other side. Good job, Teddy. Next, we're going to switch from having the flat head to a triangle shaped head almost. This is the one that helps us to see inside the ears a little bit better. So again, light comes on and it might tickle, but it should not hurt, okay? So we do a little tickle look. Good job, Teddy, standing nice still. And then we look at the other side. Good job, Teddy. Perfect. Then we want to take a good look in our nose. So we have you lean back and you might see a little touch on the tip of your nose. Good job, Teddy. And now we want you to open wide so we can see deep inside that mouth. Good job, Teddy. But sometimes it's hard to see all the way in. Uh, can be difficult. So you might see us use something called a tongue depressor. Ooh. It's basically like a very large popsicle stick and kind of tastes like a popsicle stick too, except for without the popsicle residue. So, we go in and take a good look. Oh, good job, Teddy! And it might look something like this. So you can see a little further back. Now, now that we looked at all those places, we're probably going to have you lay down a little bit. We want to hear the heart because it changes sometimes in our sounds when we lay down. But we want to listen to your tummy. And the best way to feel and listen to the tummy is with your lips. So let's lay down, Teddy. Good job, Teddy, huh? Good. Let's put back there so you can see him. And then we'll take another little listen to his heart and then to Teddy's tummy. Again, we listen to all those spots on the chest when we listen to the heart. Job, Teddy. And then we listen to four spots on our tummy. Here, on the top, on the bottom, and then we switch to the other side. So bottom and the top. Good job, Teddy. Now we want to feel our tummy and make sure that everything feels nice and soft like it's supposed to, and there's no outs. So we do a little touch just with our hand. Good job, Teddy. It might feel weird or ticklish, and that's okay. Perfect, Teddy. Now, when you're laying down, you also might want to feel your heartbeat. Believe it or not, that boom, boom, boom that you heard up here in your heart can be felt in different areas. It can be felt in our neck, in our wrists, or in our arms and it can be felt right on our legs. And that's what we're gonna feel it on Teddy today. So we have our two fingers and we feel on either side. <gasps> Good job, Teddy. Now, to make sure everything looks nice and healthy, we'll take a little look, no touch, under the underwear in the beginning, okay? And someone will always be here for you to make sure that you feel good and okay and comfortable. Okay. So we do a little lift up and look. Good job, Teddy. Okay. After all that, we'll probably have you sit back up again. Good job, Teddy. See? And we want to make sure that all of our back and our extremities, those are things like our arms and legs, are working just the way that they should. So let's go ahead and have Teddy stand up. Oosh, good job, Teddy, huh? And then we're going to have Teddy touch his toes so we can look really good at how his back moves. Ready, Teddy? Boom, boom. Touch toes. Look at our back. Perfect. And then we might have Teddy stand back up and do some funny walks just to make sure his legs are working the way they should, like walking a line or walking on one foot or the other foot. We might see how strong our arms and legs are with good high fives. Or just grabbing really tight like the for Teddy to grab our arms. 
those are good things to see how well our body is moving. Good job. Now, after our exam is all done, this is a great time to have questions for your doctor or your nurse. So this will be a time that if you can't think of anything um, that maybe you guys could talk about it with you know, parents, grandparents, or other guardians before your visit. And that way we can write things down and make sure that we have um, exactly what we plan to ask about. Now this is also the time where the doctor might talk to you about, here's how we take care of our bodies. So they'll talk to you about eating things like fruits and vegetables, getting at least our eight to 10 hours of sleep, and making sure we don't get too much screen time, and of course, get lots of exercise. Now, sometimes in a doctor's visit, you may not be there for a physical. You may be there because you have an owie or don't feel well, and that is okay too. When that happens, we won't be doing the big physical that we have here. We might be doing a shortened physical. Okay, where we only look at the parts that are giving you problems. Okay. When that happens, you might see a couple of new things. Let me show those to you. Two new things we might see might be a machine that beeps a lot and has a nice colored light. This is called a pulse oximeter. This helps us to see that our oxygen from our lungs um, is getting everywhere it needs to get in the rest of our body. So, some teddy here. We might see Thing. It kind of looks like this. And you might have to put something on your finger to help make sure everything looks okay. So it kind of has a little clinch in there. Put it on your finger, it does not hurt. It just has a special light. And then you might hear a beep, beep, beep. And you see a number on the screen that tells us how well your oxygen is. Good job, Ted. Now, Sometimes during these sick visits, you might actually need some medications. Now these can sometimes be given in a little cup for you to drink, which might be helpful, as it always tastes good. Or it might be given in a little medication syringe. They call them syringes because they look like um, the ones that you get vaccines from, but they're not. There's no sharp point. So for those ones, we basically suck up the medicine, so it's inside here, and we take a little drink of it goes into our mouth a little now sometimes it can be scary to feel things come into the mouth like that so you can always ask to slow down or get a hug these things can be very helpful to make it less scary we can also slow it down sometimes and give you water to drink afterwards that might make it feel better now Following um, some physicals or well visits, you might need um, vaccinations. This is something that will be discussed between your doctor or the nurse and your parents, guardians, or grandparents. So, if everyone talks and says that you need any kind of vaccinations, you might see something that looks a little scary. Now, for our little babies, most of the time, those are going to be in our legs. For our older kids, sometimes it can be in our arms, or if you still want them with your legs, you can let your um, doctor or nurse know. Now, they will look very similar to something like this, except for at the very end, they'll have a tiny sharp point. It'll be very small. What can sometimes be scary is just that it looks scary. Most of the time, touching ahead of time, big hugs ahead of time are gonna help to make it not feel so bad. If we're doing our arm, the nurse might ask you or the doctor to give a nice big side hug to mommy or daddy or guardians or grandparents. And you would hold a little of this and the nurse or doctor should hold just tight enough so you don't feel too much. And a tiny little poke in, boom. For our little guys, when we get them in the legs, they'll have them lay down. Sometimes uh, mommies, daddies, guardians, or parents will be up through here to help hold hands and be nice and close. And then the nurse might have to hold the leg straight a little bit and put a little pressure so that we don't feel it going and a little whoop, and as fast as that. Hopefully, Teddy has given us a good example of what to expect in our doctor's visits and hopefully made us feel better too. 
Um, if you have any comments or questions that you want to ask about getting our physicals and the dud, please comment below and follow the rest of our videos here at Daisy Pediatrics. Thank you.